It's not my fault one. What do you mean RSA with CRT has an attack that's not a fault attack? Connect on port 10055. We have the Python here. Okay, so what this Python does is it generates a couple primes. It's normal RSA. And then we have this clue method. And so this clue method, we're going to know that E is the multiplicative inverse of D mod P minus 1, Q minus 1. They're going to give us E. And we know that D is from this Chinese remainder theorem in DP and DQ. So DP can only be up to one to the number of bits. So DP, it looks like bits is 20. That's a pretty small number. So we'll be able to maybe do some brute force in that range. And it also looks like they put in a proof of work for us. So we have to enter a string that starts with something, has an MD5 hash that ends in six hex digits. Okay, so this website here at mathoverflow.net is going to really describe the attack. It says, suppose we're given N and E and our clue is E. We know that we know the bound of D and we want to factor it in roughly n steps for a random value of x, the GCD of x to the ed minus x mod n, or the GCD of that with n, will be p with good probability. All right. So here is the script that I wrote. So first we have this proof of work. So we're going to get in that string that needs to start with. Here are the six hex digits we want. So I'm just going to create six letter strings, stick them at the end of um, the five things we got, hash that, and make sure this matches. So then we send that, and then what we get is we get the modulus, and the clue. Okay, so we have public modulus and we have clue. So we're going to read those. And those are N and E. And math overflow says with high probability, the GCD of X to the ED minus X and N is P. We don't know D. So I'm just going to pick a random 20 bit prime number and then I'm going to loop all the way up to 1 to the 20, because those were my range for D. And then I compute all the possible values of x to the ED. So this would be where D is 0, here now D is 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. If I get a GCD that's not 1, then it should be the prime number. And so I set P to that, I divide in by P, that gives me Q. This thing over here wants P plus Q, so I just compute P plus Q and I send it, and away I go. All right, so again, I'm just sort of relying on this statement right here. For random value of X, GCD of X to the ED minus X N will be P with good probability. So I'm guessing D, every possible value of D, D and that's pretty small because there were only 20 bits. And then I compute the GCD. If it's not one, I assume it's P, and away I go. All right, so Python solve, not my fault, uh, PY. Now we're gonna have to solve this proof of work challenge. Oh, that went really fast. Uh, now it's trying. 864883. This actually takes a little bit of time, so I think I'll pause this for a minute. It's still chunking away. Remember what we're trying here is every possible value of D from 1 up to 2 to the 20. 
Okay, so it took a couple minutes. Um, looks like we got lucky on our, our random number. It solved it. And here's our flag. I can't believe it's not a fault attack.